Welcome to DU Nation, a new Ducks Unlimited series devoted to bringing you down-to-earth outdoors content from across North America. In this episode, we're alligator gar fishing the old-fashioned way with Dale Bordlaw, aka the Bayou Beast, and Warren Coco, the founder of Go Devil Manufacturers of Louisiana. Dale is a direct descendant of the first Creole immigrants to New Orleans in the early 1700s. He's a lifelong hunter and fisherman who's been taught the old school ways of survival by his father, grandfather, and other men who hunted and fished these areas before him. Not for sport, but to survive. DU Nation is made possible by our sponsors, Yeti, Winchester Ammo, Drake Waterfowl Systems, Mossy Oak, Winchester Repeating Arms, and General Tire. We believe in their products, and we appreciate it when you support the companies that support conservation. That's a nice one. Don't want to cost that, Bill. Ball game's over. I've been coming here for years, and we've been duck hunting here. My dad's been hunting here since 1950 with his daddy, and now we hunting here, and now I have sons and grandsons in this same place. It's a pleasure just to come here and not kill nothing. It's not to kill ducks, but just to come, reminisce of your grandpa, your daddy, and, and just to pile up through these beautiful trees. And we duck hunt a lot, but in the summertime, we do a lot of fishing. We do a lot of gar fishing. When I was a young man, we used to go a lot in this old habitat where I go with the old people in the early 70s and they would get garfish, catch all kind of fish, but Louisiana has a lot to offer. Duck hunting, the garfish, and the bison, and white perch fishing, frog hunting. We even, there's a lot of big loggerhead turtles here. And one time this lake dried up 20 years ago and I was able to rescue 16 of them and bring them to safety. And we still see them time to time. You have to take care of Mother Nature sometimes, but this is my world, it means everything to me. And we're always using it for, every day of my life, it's, it's hunting and fishing is just as important as working to us. And we sure enjoy it. Warren changed the way boats and motors were used forever when he brought his mud motors to market more than four decades ago. His lifelong pursuit of waterfowl and wildlife conservation has made him one of the most respected outdoorsmen in the country. Well, people have been fishing garfish for a long, long time because it was a fish they could catch or something they could eat. And then eventually, you know, could sell. I had a friend of mine used to fish them down at the mouth of the river. And he saw them and I got a laugh. He said, most of them all went to a Vols Parish, where Dale's from. He said, everybody in Vols Parish is crazy for garfish. You know, we ate it, you know, all my life. And, you know, it's a good fish to eat. It's not a delicacy like a bass or a crappie or whatever, but it's, it's a good fish. You know, redfish is a trash fish until Prudhomme burned them. And everybody went berserk over them, and then, then you couldn't catch enough of them. It's all house prepared. You know, the thing about Louisiana, we not only know how to eat, we know how to cook. And we can make it taste good. And, and well, you, you're talking about that. My daddy, he was born and he lived in the Depression, and his grandpa, you know, my grandpa was born in the 1800s. They never ate redfish. Now everybody eats redfish. Yeah. And when I'd go gar fishing, he'd tell me, don't bring no redfish here, That's, that ain't worth the crap. He just wants the gar fish. <laughs> I remember that. But they, they, they know how to make the ingredients and, and they make all kind of stuff to make it edible. I mean, it, it, it's a big thing. It's a, it's a good eating food. Good eating fish, and a lot of people despise it as a trash fish, but... They hadn't eaten mine. <laughs> you're right. That's about as good as you're going to eat. They fish by leaving floaters in the channels 
with the bait suspended underneath. Gar will hold the bait in their mouths for up to a half hour before swallowing it. It's important they don't feel any resistance or they're likely to spit out the hook and bait. The bump. It's like, it's like Jaws, man, you know, pulling in barrels. We got Warren Coco clean the garfish and there's one swimming coming to meet him. Come check on his pod now, I guess. <laughs> I got my line with about 10 feet of line, but I only take out what I want. So I want to fish that deep. And what I do, I got these big newspaper rubber bands. That works pretty good. I'll just double them up on the end, slot it down. What I do is I just take a hitch and I stick it under them rubber bands. Something like that. When the gore fish pulls it, it comes out. It slips off of it. That's what it's supposed to do anyway. Okay, what you do is, I got this little rod. I'm gonna get a hook. This is an old hook with some piano wire. Any kind of wire is good. You gotta use a wire because the teeth will cut, cut the line. So what I'll do is, you gotta put this fish first down in the hook. So what I'll do is, I'll make a, take this rod, try to follow the middle of that fish. And I'm gonna hook this to it. and slot it on down. And pull it all the way through. You see how he's, when the gar bites it, the fish bite it, gar fish will bite him by the head. The hook will be there, it'll catch him a lot better. So that hook, that little hook is made to do that. It's a very critical. Then I got a big clip to clip my line on there. And that's it. We're ready to gar fish. Night. Woo! He don't want to go in that pot. Huh? What's pretty, huh? They unhook and clean the gar in the boat as they go. This saves time and it helps keep the meat as fresh as possible, especially in the summer heat of South Louisiana. I'm proud of that, boy, it's pretty. <laughs> huh? Yeah, it is pretty. Put the alligators work on that. That board works good, huh? These marshes have sustained people for centuries with their incredibly diverse ecosystems. Nowadays, it's men like Dale and Warren who keep these traditions and memories alive, and they continue to honor the land that kept their ancestors fed. Look at all them goodies coming out of there. The mushrooms, the onions and the bell pepper. Look at 
We're going to eat with us tonight. Well, that's how we do it at Hackberry at my, at my hunting camp, fishing camp. Amen. Play it in, dance. Come on, dance. Don't, don't horse him, you're going to lose him. Play it in, play it in. Ah. <laughs>